Welcome back to my ACT channel. Make sure you visit our website to find out more information about our classes that are coming up. And stay tuned for these wonderful ACT tips. So today we're actually going to put a program in. I have one in, but I want to do a new one. And I want to do the slope program. So the easiest way to do this is to just basically, you can kind of see these little alpha these green letters above them, just type in the word slope really quick. Um, that is not an O. P. -E. All right, so I'm just going to call it slope. So that way I remember what it is. So the first thing I want to do is I want to define, since I can't have slope is rise over run, I can't really do like a, uh, let's see. So I'm going to go ahead and just do this really fast and see if we can get that pretty quick. So the first thing I want to do is display. I can never figure out where the parentheses or the quotation marks are. So it's easier for me to hit second and then catalog and just scroll up to get them. Um, and I'm going to display that I have an X. I'm going to put a comma in there and then I'll put an alpha Y. So you know what the first point will look like. I just want my X and my Y. And then I'm going to put also the other point, which I'm just going to call A and B because I can't put a, any other subscript. I have to have another letter for it. It's easier. I'm going to hit the second catalog again, and I'm going to come up here and grab this really fast. And now when I hit this, it will display X, uh, Y, A, B, so I can kind of distinguish that X and A go together and Y and B go together. So the next thing I want to do is I want to prompt. So I'm hitting my program, by the way. I am hitting here. You can kind of see a bunch of things uh, in here. I want to hit the word prompt. What that does is it actually enters like my variables. So I'm going to go ahead and put X comma. I'm going to put my alpha Y here. I'm going to hit comma. I'm also going to then put the A comma and the B comma. So I want a comma between all of my prompts so it actually gives it to me. The next thing I want to do is actually enter my pr uh, program. So I'm going to put two parentheses here. So my Y minus, um, so I put it all together, in other words. So the first thing I want to do is I want to put my alpha. I'm going to put my Y. I'm going to subtract that and alpha B. That's my first. So that's my rise right there. So you notice that that goes with my Y and this. I'm going to hit divide. I'm then going to hit my X minus uh, A which is my A's, right? Goes with my X's. And I end up putting a second one here. And what I want to do so it kind of shows up is I always put store and then I just pick another alphabet letter. I'm just going to put C this time. And then I'm going to go to my next thing. So there's my program. It's going to come out as C. But I do want to have some sort of display unit here so I make sure I remember what I actually asked for. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the display again. I'm going to go ahead and hit second catalog. I'm going to go up here to this right here. It's the fastest way to get it anyway. And I'm going to go ahead and type in second, and I'm just going to make sure that we know. I hit second alpha, so I, I don't have to go back and forth. So I'm going to hit S, uh, L, O, P again, E, and I have my slope. And then I'm going to put math here. Oops, let's go backwards. I'm going to get out of my alpha. I want to hit math, and I want to hit, uh, sorry, second math. I apologize. I hit second math. I want my equals. Just so that way I have it there. I'm going to then go back to my catalog. It's going to display the equal sign like this. And I'm going to put a comma here and I want it to, and it's going to tell me what I want it to display. I'm going to pick the letter that I put here and I'm going to put enter. Now, the one thing I want to make sure that we realize is, is that a slope typically is in fraction form. So I'm going to show you what it looks like in this form. So we're going to go ahead and exit out of here. And I'm going to put, let's see, I'm just going to hit program again. You see slope is there. So I'm going to go scroll down to slope. Um, I have to hit enter. And it's just going to ask me for my letters. So I'm just going to go four, five, six and eight. I have no idea what I'm it's going to come out. And it comes out as 1.5, which is great, except for most of the time, if it's a very long decimal, I don't want it in that form. Remember, we always want it in fraction. So I'm going to go ahead and hit my program again. This time I'm going to edit my uh, slope program. And I'm going to come down here to where it's, I talked about C. And I'm going to actually uh, come in here and hit uh, 
math and I want to hit fraction. So what that does for me is it turns that F into a fraction. So let's take a look at what the difference is going to be. We're going to hit the 4, 5, 6, and 8 again, just because those look like good numbers. 4, 5, 6, 8. And now look at the difference. I get 3 halves, which is how you want your fraction or your uh, slope to be. Hopefully that helps and you can give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching our tips. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of our good material and give us a thumbs up. You have a great day and see you next time.